a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Rett Syndrome Rett Syndrome is a genetic brain disorder which typically becomes apparent after 6 to 18 months of age in females. Symptoms include problems with language, coordination, and repetitive movements. Often there is slower growth, problems walking, and a smaller head size. Complications can include seizures, scoliosis, and sleeping problems. Those affected, however, may be affected to different degrees. Rett syndrome is due to a genetic mutation of the MAP2 gene. This gene occurs on the X chromosome. Typically it develops as a new mutation, with less than 1% of cases being inherited from a person's parents. It occurs almost exclusively in girls. Boys who have a similar mutation typically die shortly after birth. Diagnosis is based on symptoms and can be confirmed with genetic testing. There is no known cure for Rett syndrome. Treatment is directed at improving symptoms. Anticonvulsants may be used to help with seizures. Special education, physiotherapy, and braces may also be useful. Many people with the condition live into middle age. The condition affects about 1 in 8,500 females. Andreas Rett, a pediatrician in Vienna, first described the condition in 1966, as his writings were in German. They did not become widely known in the English-speaking world. Bengt Hagberg, a Swedish pediatrician, published an English article in 1983 and named the condition after Rett. In 1999, Lebanese-American physician Huda Zogby discovered the mutation that causes the condition. Stage I Stage I, called early onset, typically begins between 6 and 18 months of age. This stage is often overlooked, because symptoms of the disorder may be somewhat vague, and parents and doctors may not notice the subtle slowing of development at first. The infant may begin to show less eye contact and have reduced interest in toys. There may be delays in gross motor skills such as sitting or crawling. Hand wringing and decreasing head growth may occur, but not enough to draw attention. This stage usually lasts for a few months, but can continue for more than a year. Stage 2 Stage 2, or the rapid destructive stage, usually begins between ages 1 and 4 and may last for weeks or months. Its onset may be rapid or gradual as the child loses purposeful hand skills and spoken language. Characteristic hand movements such as ringing, washing, clapping, or tapping, as well as repeatedly moving the hands to the mouth often begin during this stage. The child may hold the hands clasped behind the back or held at the sides, with random touching, grasping, and releasing. The movements continue while the child is awake, but disappear during sleep. Breathing irregularities such as episodes of apnea and hyperventilation may occur, although breathing usually improves during sleep. Some girls also display autistic-like symptoms such as loss of social interaction and communication. Walking may be unsteady, and initiating motor movements can be difficult. Slowed head growth is usually noticed during this stage. Stage 3 Stage 3, or the plateau or pseudo-stationary stage, usually begins between ages 2 and 10 and can last for years. Apraxia, motor problems, and seizures are prominent during this stage. However, there may be improvement in behavior, with less irritability crying, and autistic-like features. In stage 3 there may be more interest in the surroundings and alertness, attention span, and communication skills may improve. Many girls remain in this stage for most of their lives. Stage 4 Stage 4, or the late motor deterioration stage, can last for years or decades. Prominent features include reduced mobility, curvature of the spine, and muscle weakness, rigidity, spasticity, and increased muscle tone with abnormal posturing of an arm, leg. Girls who were previously able to walk may stop walking. Cognition, communication, or hand skills generally do not decline in stage 4. Repetitive hand movements may decrease and eye gaze usually improves. Variants 
the signs of Rett syndrome typical form are perfectly identified. In addition to the classical form of Rett syndrome, several atypical forms have been described over the years. The main groups are, the definition itself of the Rett syndrome has been refined over the years, as the atypical forms subsist near to the classical form, the Rett complex terminology has been introduced. Cause Genetically, Rett syndrome is caused by mutations in the gene MAP2 located on the X chromosome, and can arise sporadically or from germline mutations. In less than 10% of RTT cases, mutations in the gene CDKL5 or FOX1 have also been found to resemble it. Rett syndrome is initially diagnosed by clinical observation, but the diagnosis is definitive when there is a genetic defect in the MAP2 gene. In some very rare cases, no known mutated gene can be found, possibly due to changes in MAP2 that are not identified by presently used techniques or mutations in other genes that may result in clinical similarities. It has been argued that Rett syndrome is in fact a neurodevelopmental condition as opposed to a neurodegenerative condition. One piece of evidence for this is that mice with induced Rett syndrome show no neuronal death. And some studies have suggested that their phenotypes can be partially rescued by adding functional MAP2 gene back when they are adults. This information has also helped lead to further studies aiming to treat the disorder. Sporadic mutations In at least 95% of Rett syndrome cases, the cause is a de novo mutation in the child. That is, it is not inherited from either parent. Parents are generally genotypically normal, without a MAP2 mutation. In cases of the sporadic form of RTT, the mutated MAP2 is thought to derive almost exclusively from a de novo mutation on the male copy of the X chromosome. It is not yet known what causes the sperm to mutate. And such mutations are rare. Germline mutations it can also be inherited from phenotypically normal mothers who have a germline mutation in the gene encoding methyl CPG binding protein 2, MAP2. In these cases, inheritance follows an X-linked dominant pattern and is seen almost exclusively in females, as most males die in utero or shortly after birth. MAP2 is found near the end of the long arm of the X chromosome at XQ28, an atypical form of RTT characterized by infantile spasms or early onset epilepsy, can also be caused by a mutation to the gene encoding cyclin-dependent kinase like 5. Rett syndrome affects 1 in every 12,500 female live births by age 12 years. Pontine noradrenergic deficits Brain levels of norepinephrine are lower in people with Rett syndrome. The genetic loss of MAP2 changes the properties of cells in the locus coeruleus. The exclusive source of noradrenergic innovation to the cerebral cortex and hippocampus. These changes include hyperexcitability and decreased functioning of its noradrenergic innovation. Moreover, a reduction of the tyrosine hydroxylase mRNA level, the rate-limiting enzyme in catecholamine synthesis, was detected in the whole ponds of MAP2 null male as well as in adult heterozygous female mice. Using immunoquantitative techniques, a decrease of Th protein staining level, number of locus coeruleus Th expressing neurons, and density of dendritic arborization surrounding the structure was shown in symptomatic MAP2 deficient mice. However, locus coeruleus cells are not dying, but are more likely losing their fully mature phenotype. Since no apoptotic neurons in the pons were detected, researchers have concluded that, because these neurons are a pivotal source of norepinephrine throughout the brain stem and forebrain, and are involved in the regulation of diverse functions disrupted in Rett syndrome, such as respiration and cognition, we hypothesize that the locus coeruleus is a critical site at which loss of MAP2 results in CNS dysfunction. The restoration of normal locus coeruleus function may therefore be of potential therapeutic value in the treatment of Rett syndrome. Midbrain dopaminergic disturbances The majority of dopamine in the mammalian brain is synthesized by nuclei located in the mesencephalon. The substantia nigra pars compacta, the ventral tegmental area, 
and the retrorubral field contains dopaminergic neurons expressing tyrosine hydroxylase. The nigrostriatal pathway originates from SNPC and irradiates its principal rostral target, the caudate putamen through the median forebrain bundle. This connection is involved in the tight modulation of motor strategies computed by a cortico-basal ganglia thalamocortical loop. Indeed, based on the canonical anatomofunctional model of basal ganglia, nigrostriatal dopamine is able to modulate the motor loop by acting on dopaminergic receptors located on striatal gabergic medium spiny neurons. Dysregulation of the nigrostriatal pathway is causative from Parkinson's disease in humans. Toxic and or genetic ablation of SNPC neurons produces experimental Parkinsonism in mice and primates. The common features of PD and PD animal models are motor impairments. RTT pathology, in some aspects, overlaps the motor phenotype observed in PD patients. Several neuropathological studies on post-mortem brain samples argued for an SNPC alteration evidenced by neuromelanin hypopigmentation, reduction in the structure area, and even controversial, signs of apoptosis. In parallel, an hypometabolism was underlined by a reduction of several catecholamines and their principal metabolic byproducts. Mouse models of RTT are available and the most studied are constitutively deleted MAP2 mice developed by Adrian Bird or Rudolf Janisch Laboratories, in accordance with the motor spectrum of the RTT phenotype. MAP2 null mice show motor abnormalities from postnatal day 30 that worsen until death. These models offer a crucial substrate to elucidate the molecular and neuroanatomical correlates of an MAP2 deficiency. Recently, it was shown that the conditional deletion of MAP2 in catecholaminergic neurons recapitulates a motor symptomatology. It was further documented that brain levels of Th in mice lacking MAP2 in catecholaminergic neurons only are reduced, participating to the motor phenotype. However, the most studied model for the evaluation of therapeutics is the MAP2 null mouse. In this context, a reduction in the number and soma size of TH expressing neurons is present from five weeks of age and is accompanied by a decrease of TH immunoreactivity in the caudate putamen, the principal target of dopaminergic neurons arising from the SNPC. Moreover, a neurochemical analysis of dopaminergic contents in microdissected midbrain and striatal areas revealed a reduction of dopamine at five and nine weeks of age. It is noteworthy that later on, the morphological parameters remain altered, but not worsen, whereas the phenotype progresses and behavioral deficits are more severe. The amount of fully activated TH in neurons that remain in the SNPC is mildly affected at five weeks, but severely impaired by nine weeks. Finally, using a chronic and oral L-DOPA treatment on MAP2 deficient mice authors reported an amelioration of some of the motor deficits previously identified. Altogether, these results argue for an alteration of the nigrostriatal dopaminergic pathway in MAP2 deficient animals as a contributor of the neuromotor deficits. There is an association of the disease with brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Diagnosis Prior to the discovery of a genetic cause, Rett syndrome had been designated as a pervasive developmental disorder by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, together with the Autism Spectrum Disorders. Some argued against this conclusive assignment, because RTT resembles non-autistic disorders such as Fragile X syndrome, tuberous sclerosis, or Down syndrome that also exhibit autistic features. After research proved the molecular mechanism, in 2013 the DSM-5 removed the syndrome altogether from classification as a mental disorder. Rett syndrome diagnosis involves close observation of the child's growth and development to observe any abnormalities in regards to developmental milestones. A diagnosis is considered when decreased head growth is observed. Conditions with similar symptoms must first be ruled out. There is a certain criteria that must be met for the diagnosis. A blood test can rule in or rule out the presence of the MAP2 mutation. However, this mutation is present in other conditions as well. 
For a classic diagnosis, all four criteria for ruling in a diagnosis must be met, as well as the two criteria for ruling out a diagnosis. A period of symptom regression followed by recovery or symptom stabilization must also occur. Supportive criteria may also be present, but are not required for diagnosis. For an atypical or variant diagnosis, at least two of the four criteria for ruling in the diagnosis must be met, as well as five of the eleven supportive criteria. A period of symptom regression followed by recovery or symptom stabilization must also occur. Children are often misdiagnosed as having autism, cerebral palsy, or another form of developmental delay. A positive test for the MAP2 mutation is not enough to make a diagnosis. Ruling in ruling out supportive criteria. Treatment Currently there is no cure for Etz syndrome. Treatment is directed towards improving function and addressing symptoms throughout life. A multidisciplinary team approach is typically used to treat the person throughout life. This team may include primary care physician, physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech-language pathologist, nutritionist, and support services in academic and occupational settings. Treatment of Rett syndrome includes, because of the increased risk of sudden cardiac death, when long QT syndrome is found on an annual screening EKG it is treated with an antiarrhythmic such as a beta blocker. There is some evidence that phenytoin may be more effective than a beta blocker. Prognosis Males with pathogenic MAP2 mutations usually die within the first two years from severe encephalopathy, unless they have an extra X chromosome, or have somatic mosaicism. Male fetuses with the disorder rarely survive to term, because the disease-causing gene is located on the X chromosome. A female born with an MAP2 mutation on her X chromosome has another X chromosome with an ostensibly normal copy of the same gene, while a male with the mutation on his X chromosome has no other X chromosome, only a Y chromosome. Thus, he has no normal gene. Without a normal gene to provide normal proteins in addition to the abnormal proteins caused by a MAP2 mutation, the zykaryotype male fetus is unable to slow the development of the disease. Hence the failure of many male fetuses with a MAP2 mutation to survive to term. Females with a MAP2 mutation, however, have a non-mutant chromosome that provides them enough normal protein to survive longer. Research shows that males with Rett syndrome may result from Klinefelter's syndrome, in which the male has an XXY karyotype. Thus, a non-mutant MAP2 gene is necessary for a Ritz-affected embryo to survive in most cases, and the embryo, male or female, must have another X chromosome. There have, however, been several cases of 46 zykaryotype males with a MAP2 mutation carried to term, who were affected by neonatal encephalopathy and died before two years of age. The incidence of Rett syndrome in males is unknown, partly owing to the low survival of male fetuses with the Rett syndrome-associated MAP2 mutations and partly to differences between signs caused by MAP2 mutations and those caused by RITS. Females can live up to 40 years or more. Laboratory studies on RET syndrome may show abnormalities such as a high proportion of deaths are abrupt, but most have no identifiable cause. In some instances death is the result most likely of. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries would you like to know more?